Beautiful welcome to all. I'm Esther Berkey, the passionate creator behind the book Living Without Fear, which has touched many lives and a co-creator of the Amazon best-selling Inspired Journeys. If you're eager to explore a world of endless possibilities, you've come to the right place. Know someone who could use a dose of inspiration from today's episode? Feel free to share this podcast with them and don't forget to stay updated by subscribing to my newsletter, joining me on YouTube. And if you found value in what you heard, kindly leave a brief review or rate it on your preferred podcast platform with a sprinkle of stars. Your unwavering support truly warms my heart and I'm deeply appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. And today I'd love to remind us how important it is to look inwards. And just to make it clear, I was looking at the outer world or my outer world for decades. As a journalist and a very rational person, I only focused on what I could see, touch, or read about. Looking inwards didn't exist in my world. So if you're like me back then, you're in good company because I can picture a long path until I landed in my inner world. Meditation existed for me only on my wish list. I had heard from people who did impress me that meditation belonged to their daily routine. And as I thought, those people seemed to have under control their life much better than I did. I always wished I could sit down and meditate. But my trials ended in disasters. I gave up very quickly. Sometimes in the middle of the meditation time, or I realized to keep still until the end, but I had already decided in my mind that I would never try it again because I thought, this isn't anything for me. I'm different. I cannot sit still. My thoughts are running in my head and it's not possible to control them. Well, today I can tell you, it is possible to control our thoughts or you can let them run around and after a while, they get quiet as yourself, you get quiet and you can really and steeply feel into yourself and perceive what is really there at the bottom of your soul. I would say it is like coming home to yourself. Be with yourself and get the feeling that you aren't anyone different but yourself. This is such a beautiful feeling. And after the meditation, I walk around, I speak, but I still have the feeling this is me at its core. I don't have to please anyone and I don't have to talk too much. I can listen better or I can ask questions to the people I meet, meet and not covering them with a lot of talking about all my thoughts and experiences. I can just be with the others. And guess what? I noticed a huge difference when I'm not able to do the meditation. For a few days, it is okay. But then I real realize how I'm so much more dependent on the outer world, how much more I get triggered by people or when life happens and I cannot change the circumstances, 
like a depressed and negative mother on my weekly visits at my parents' home or like a negatively wired friend when she told me on the phone long and wide about how she was suffering. She hated the building where she lived because there were a lot of sick and old people and they were all the time complaining about their health and their lives. <laughs> My friend missed that she got inspired by someone living close to her. But as she is very healthy at her age, she will be able to leave her apartment. And in addition, she has got a card to travel Switzerland without paying any extras. So she could travel to all the beautiful places again in our beautiful country and enjoy her day. And she will be inspired by other people on her way or she could inspire others as well as she had and still has such a wonderful life with so many beautiful experiences and it's great to listen to her. She has accomplished so much in her life but unfortunately she isn't able yet to look inside and enjoy the wealth which is there. She makes herself dependent on the outer world, on the people around her. And another example from my own life, and I mentioned it again because I'm working on it very intensely, because it triggers me still. If I let depend my mood on my mother's mood when I visit her and my father on Saturday, I would return home every week very negative and very depressed. But as I work on my beautiful state and I don't let it be destroyed by other people, I regularly drive home at the end of the day and I feel happy. And besides, to top my beautiful state, I listen to inspiring podcast episodes on the one hour drive and this up levels my mood as well. So getting back to my friend who complains about her life when I call her and she is a very great example of the majority of people we meet daily. She could change her life so easily but it is so hard for her. Very often, the very simple and easy things are so hard to realize. It is so easy to sit down 10 or 20 minutes per day. It doesn't cost anything. You don't need to buy an expensive machine or a costly equipment for that. You need nothing but you and yourself and your time. But this is so difficult. I know, I've been there. But looking and reacting less to the outer world brings so much more peace into your life because you can control your state, your thoughts and feelings but you cannot have a great impact on what is happening in the outer world. Only by being positive, you can influence the mood of other people. You can influence the outcome of your actions. Your state determines all. Try it out the next few hours or the next day. And if you like, let me know what you discovered. You can share your thoughts with me on Instagram or on YouTube, or you can write me an email. Thank you, dear listener, for spending your precious time with me and being open to improve your life quality. And I cannot repeat it enough. In case you still feel worthless, 
and nobody seems to like you. I tell you, you're amazing. I love you. And you're a gift to everyone who crosses your path. And please remember these sentences over and over again. Have an amazing day and talk to you next week.